Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for, is it Tuesday, August 30th, 2022, 67 degrees at 8.31 a.m. and I am your host, Bob Kamal. And as usual, and maybe even more so, I am a tired sinner. I wish I could sleep. I wish you could have restful sleep. Oh boy, it's a beautiful morning. There's some action and adventure happening way out in the yard. Mikey, Sam, and Sullivan are out there. To the 8 billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis, I mowed the lawn yesterday. And I gotta tell you, I'm out here and admiring it. It's looking pretty good today. It was about like 84 when I was out there mowing yesterday, and it was brutal. Hot, sticky, and sweaty. But, uh, yeah, and after that, we took the clippings to the DPW. Never did get in a bike ride yesterday. And worked from 5 to 9. Did battle with that paperwork for the... SSD, which is no fun, trying to answer questions that you can't answer, you know, <laughs> it sucked the life out of me, I was actually glad to be going to work and walking away from that, and I did receive a message uh, from the woman that sent me that paperwork, I didn't get a chance to talk to her, perhaps I'll call her back today. But, uh, yeah. Anyhow, we're off from work today. The plan for today is to enjoy this beautiful morning, hang out with these loves, and maybe get a bike ride and a swim in later. I really wanted to go for a swim yesterday, but it just didn't work out. Probably conjure up some of my famous beef, peppers and onions. And go from there. Who knows, maybe make up some rice. We'll conjure in the kitchen for a little while, though. And then, uh, yeah. I'm going to stretch, do our yoga, say our morning prayers and whatnot, hang out with these loves. I think tonight will be a good night to have a fire. Mackie went back in the house. I don't know where the princess is, and we're going to take our first break. Welcome back, and I don't mean that at all. Sammy's back. He's having a little breakfast. Mikey and Sully are probably over there underneath the spruce tree. That's where Sam came from, and they all went off that way together, but who knows. It is a beautiful morning. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that's just a touch of lung cancer. A couple of aspirin, glass of orange juice, Probably a 15, 20 minute power nap and I'll be good to go. Anyway, um, I don't know what I was going to say. It doesn't matter. Hey, we're back again. Sully came back from his adventure. He's over on the sidewalk. Mikey, Max, and Sam are all back inside. We're just about finished with our morning readings. One of the things we read was the 12 stages of humility, and that's a reminder of uh, my daily mantra that I say to myself that I am powerless, life is unmanageable, my will will not be done. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. And there's no reality but God. And the only thing we got to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. Here comes that Sullivan. He's a big boy. There he is. And anyway, uh, you know, it's the, the last days of August and yet the weather, and I was talking with a customer about this yesterday at work. This is more like September weather, as far as I'm concerned, for all practical purposes. It's September weather, and, uh, you know, 
just because it's on the calendar still August. That the weather and the way things are, the conditions and the senses and the feelings I have about things right now, what I see happening, the observes, observing the changes that are taking place. It is September to me. Look, here comes that Samuel. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Bobby. We got to give Sam his pill. We got to put some stuff in Sammy's, Sully's ears and in Mikey's ears. There's that Sullivan. There he is. All right. So anyway, and in the course of my work, I meet a lot of interesting people and, you know, have some good conversations and about spiritual matters and things like that, religion, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I met this guy the other day. He, he's a retired military man, and he very, seemed to be a very devout Christian, walking the walk, not just talking the talk. And We're talking about crazy times and how things are getting crazier and crazier it seems and how it's difficult to have faith and all that sometimes and all these with all these things that are going on in the world whatever they may be the chaos confusion mostly the the inter interaction between humans you know whether it be at a neighborhood level or a city level country level whatever you know state to state whatever but uh you know, the bottom line is, is those things are opportunities for us to practice what we profess to believe. And I'll be the first one to admit I'm not real good at some, some of that stuff. <laughs> I'm real good at blowing a nut sometimes and pointing out what bullshit stuff is, behavior, whatever. But uh, then it comes around to it, you end up having to apologize or whatever I do anyway or just bottom line is like I always preach be accountable for your actions what you think say and do there ain't a lot of that going on and I don't know if there ever was but anyway I, I was it was interesting last night um, we got this one customer that most everybody on the staff wishes would shop somewhere else and I was even nice to that swine last night. <laughs> the man's delusional. But who isn't, huh? Anyway, look at these sweethearts. Look at these sweet loves. All right, we're going to take another break. We're back again, and we have a special guest, Mr. Dragonfly. And that's a big one. That's a big one right there. Little Margie used to run around and jump in the air, and she'd jump three or four feet in the air and catch flying dragonflies and then bite their heads off and eat their heads and leave the rest of their bodies. I think the wings must have tickled her throat. But yeah, she would have liked that one, that's for sure. Oh yeah, what's he up to? What's he up to? Are we even getting him in there? It's hard to say. Hard to say. Sully went off on another adventure. Oh, look at... Oh, look at, there's Mikey. There's that Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Come on and see me, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. There's that Sam. Yeah, the, we're looking for a high of 74 degrees today, so it might not be a bad day to do some conjuring in the kitchen. Maybe make some of my lentil soup. Yeah, but I do want to do some riding, and Norway Ridge seems to be calling me today. But we'll see what happens. This is working pretty good right now. Hey, Mikey. Yeah, so we'll take another break, and then we're going to be back for our closing set segment. Well, we finished our readings, and we're just about finished with our coffee. And I remembered something last night. Mikey's having another bite to eat. Sammy just went in the house. Um, when I got home from work last night, all the loves were outside, and I went and sat on the porch with them, was talking with them. And telling them about my night at work and whatnot and asking them how they were. And all of a sudden around the corner, Mr. Skunk came by. And was that interesting? And they were all ready to challenge him. Or maybe it was a her, I don't know. But I made, my, made sure I got far enough away to keep from getting sprayed. And Mr. Skunk was standing his ground. And there was uh, Sully and Mikey and... Sam were there, you know, and their fur was on edge. But anyway, it was an interesting thing. Thought I'd bring that up. 
So that's all we have today from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, burdened, bloodied, uh, empty, hopeless, cracked, shattered, uh, fitful. Is that even a word? Does that mean what I'm trying to say? Forsaken, forlorn, hopeless soul. Piss off. Thanks for not tuning in and have a wonderful day.